All right, so I'm here with Quinn Cronin, who's my uh, hockey teammate and one of my best friends. And today we're going to design my life. So there's a few things I know about my future. Number one, I get to see the world. All Number parts of the world. The whole world. I want to see every part of the world. I want to see India, Japan. I might even travel to Antarctica, definitely Africa, Europe. I'm going everywhere. Everywhere. Every single I wanna, country. I would, not necessarily every single country, but definitely a lot of different countries and a lot of different mixes of cultures and unique areas. Like I want to go to Tibet. So I want to see as much as I possibly can. I'm trying to go to a lot of places. I'm happy in my role. I make the world a better what, place. What role? Well, that's like if I take a job or something. Okay. So if you want to, you want to be happy with that role. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. regardless, I know. I, I like. I'm not going to do anything that makes me unhappy. Sounds good. All right. I make the world a better place. Money doesn't limit my possibilities. So that's especially with my travels, because obviously travel can get expensive. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that later. I have some plans. Yeah. Um, I become good at coding. Um, computer science has become pretty important to me. My body stays fit and healthy. I, I value this vessel. I don't want to let it deteriorate. And also I follow my curiosity. So there's a lot of things going on here. And um, when thinking about what I, what I wanted to do with my life. Well, you got to start in the present moment because I'm here in college, right? Mm -hmm. And to me, uh, college and my studies right now as a software engineering major, um, well, it's really important to me because I know with this major, I'll be able to make a decent amount of money right out of college. For sure. So that's yeah. going to fund tr the travels. Okay. But I had a couple options of what I could do because we like to think of it in a in a business context a lot of the time we like to think of well you have to get a job or whatever so mm -hmm. i considered joining the military but and i was definitely considering that for a while too but what happened is i just tore my labrum so a couple injuries and i just don't think it's you, worth it anymore. you think a torn labrum would stop you um well i think if if we went to war if like the united states was in at war at the time of our graduation then I could. Then you would enlist. Yeah. Then I would. I would enlist. Okay. I would uh, just scrap everything you hear from this point mm -hmm. forward and enlist. Um. So, but option one is software engineer, and that's where we are right now, pretty much. Okay. And option three was just being an explorer. I mean, whatever happened to Marco Polo? Why can't you do that anymore? You know. Um. I would say there's a couple of reasons. Well, money is going to limit you. One money, point. money is probably the biggest one, and then two, there's not really a, a need for it. There's not a demand yeah. for you to find stuff, you know. That's true, but it would just be fun. Be fun oh, definitely. Fun. But you know what? Can you go back to that? Yeah. After you do this and acquire some money and save up, you can do that. You know. Exactly. That's what. That's my thought process. Yeah. Too. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I feel that. Um. I've also considered being a professional hockey player for a little bit. Um, what do you think about that? Is it worth it? Well, what, you, when you know for, hockey pretty when, well. When so. did you think about this, and what, what were the specifics involved in it? The specifics of it would be... It well, would let's be, start off with when first, because that gives would, me some background. Yeah, it would be right out of college. I would go play... No, but like, when did you have this idea? Oh. And um, when did you stop taking it seriously? First time I thought about it was maybe like a year or two ago. Okay. And obviously, I can't make the NHL or anything, but I can definitely play in some leagues overseas. Yeah. So, like, in Sweden, that's what I was trying to get at. Was yeah. Like, all right, like Sweden, FHL. Right, right. It, it is enticing, but I think software engineers probably makes a bit more sense. Yeah. Just money wise, I mean. And you never know five years down the road, your interest and stuff making people completely shift. Absolutely. Stuff. That's one of the biggest difficulties I would say about this project. Is that it's so hard to like picture yourself that far in the future mm -hmm. and what you'll want then because my desires change a lot every year. Yeah, that's so, what I was going to say. Is especially you, you seem to live in the current time. And yeah, I, that's sure. why I gravitate towards you because I feel like that I'm the same way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. We can have some humor in this podcast. No big deal. Um. So what do you think about my, my mission to, to keep my body healthy? 
I think everyone should have that. Yeah, I agree. I, I, agree. I think we have too many fat people in this world. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's me. Well, I mean, in the U.S., we have, what, the, <laughs> the second highest obesity rate right now? Yeah, it's true. It's, it's a there. problem people don't want to talk about, for sure. And it's like, I mean, yeah, I'm all for, like, the, the body, um, what's the term? Like, my, my body, my choice. My Well, not even that, but, like, body positivity. Yeah. For and, sure. like, that's good and all, like, but if someone's, like, unhealthy... You don't want to they're unhealthy. Yeah. Like it's okay being a little chunky, but yeah. So some of the questions I have. Well, all right. Let's let's break it down. I guess. So my my goal right now. This is what I've been living by. With what I've been doing is to just try to get the best grades I possibly can because I know my GPA is going to play a factor. Just absolutely crush it. Yeah, I just want to absolutely crush college. <laughs> I feel that. Okay. Um and. That's going to open up way more opportunities for me to choose where I want to work. Mm-hmm. And like I said, one of the things, I want to be happy in my role. So it being happy in my role, I think that what that means to me is when I work as a software engineer is that I want to work at the kind of company where the workers are happy, where like we watched a video on Netflix in class, like the work life there. They've got delicious food. They have a gym on site. They have their like nature landscapes. They're yoga rooms or whatever i just took an interview from a company that has like massage therapists yeah. at, on on campus and I, I was about to say um is there anywhere specific like have you researched like any corporations or businesses that you specifically would want to go to because they have certain things like that yeah like the the videos the tours i saw at like netflix and google were really attractive yeah but the good thing is that we're kind of on a wave right now where companies are trying to make their workers happy and give them that yeah and give them the flexible work hours and so i could even be traveling like while working like it doesn't have to start after i although i do think i'll probably take some time off work if to get those travels if, if i'm trying to go to that many places mm-hmm. but there's also i think there's a an outcome where i can travel and also work from my computer don't do you think that's pretty possible it depends on what type of job you get into and what your role within that business is. Yeah. Like, yeah. it'd be tough to do that. In like you know, it's like, yeah, exactly. It's tough to do that if you're, you know, a manager and you have to be there more so than mm-hmm. anything. But if you're some other type of role where they don't need you there all the time and they can actually benefit from you going to place to place, then yeah, for sure. Yeah. I know, speaking on that, my buddy back home, his dad, um, is does some sort of IT. He's always going to India, New York, yeah. all these different places all the time. I I love to like have a role where I connect, like help connect the internet of the world and like technology and of the world and help the world kind of advance at the same pace. Because mm-hmm. right now we see America taking off, but I don't know. That should, those are just options for me to be able to like travel while I work. And where where I get totally lost and that's where it just like I I want this part to kind of be a mystery. I don't want to know. Is like. Well, well, let's think about how long it's going to take. I might have three to five years, I think that's fair to say, of working as a software engineer, just acquiring currency to fund the travels. But then who knows how long the travels will take? What do you think that will take? Two, three years? Well, that, that was going to be one of my questions, was what was the time frame for all this? Because obviously, like it's got, it, when you get older, it gets a lot harder to travel. Yeah. And I don't see it. You didn't say anything about it, but you might want to have kids in the future. Right. So I was going to talk you about that. You might want to start a well. family. Um, I think this is like a 10 year plan. I think I can accomplish all these things in 10 years. Within 10 years from right now? Uh, no, from after graduation. So you'll be like, what, 22? When I graduate? Yeah. yeah. 22. So 22 to 32? Yeah. That's tough because then you're, then you're like cutting it maybe a little too late on like finding a partner and settling down. So we can maybe say an eight-year plan up well, to three. Who, who says you can't find a partner during this? Yeah, I, I've thought about that. I think it'd be tough because that's one of the questions I have is if it's a solo mission or with a partner. And my answer to myself was don't stress about it. Just be open to whatever happens. Well, I think for you, well, from what I've seen from you, is you like to do stuff not not necessarily on your own, but you don't like to be held back by anyone. Right. So if you're saying, I'm going to do this today, if you ask someone, like, hey, you want to do this with me, and they say no, it's not going to deter you in any way. Right, perform. I'm still going to do it. Exactly. Like, keep doing it. So I have to, I'd have to, like, maybe find a new person in each country. Who knows? I mean, I I mean, I mean, like company. I'm not, like, a full-fledged yeah. introvert. I mean, you could be... In- but I'm going to go on these travels if yeah. I need to go on these travels. Damn, sir. Well, 
he'd be a bachelor. Yeah. <coughs> so, children would be like 10 years after my travel, or after graduation. Okay. That's the that's the time frame. I would how, say. how many children you want to have? Mm. I don't think I can do more than three. Okay. And my family is just me and my brother. Two is pretty good. Yeah. I got but two older brothers, so I'm kind of the same. Try not to do one. So two or three, let's say. Yeah. But that might be tough as well. But uh, do you ever wonder, as you get older, like certain complications are more likely to happen with your kids? Do you worry about that? Or are you just what, trying what to. What do you mean by complications? Well, like I know for women, after. I don't know, a certain age that they're more likely to uh, be special needs. You're saying that my sperm count goes down after my travels. Not e- not even that. Just yeah. I mean, so I'm gonna I'm gonna incubate my sperm. From that's I was, that's <laughs> what I was trying to get at. I was trying to see if you know you know for these matters. Why not? <laughs> okay. So. Um. Trying to answer my question. Just went straight for it. <laughs> um. So I'm also wondering. If who I work for, but if I work for anyone at all, like I, I could launch my own products because well, I need to acquire a lot more information and knowledge first. But the, I mean, those are all questions. Those are all good things to find out. One of the, um, I mean, I'm pretty spontaneous, you know that. So yeah. so I get an idea. I'm like, oh my god, like this. Yeah. Like right? we're gonna try this. And one of the things I thought of was uh, just up and living in the jungle with orangutans. What do you think about this? I'm, I'm actually a big fan of this. You, I was with you when you uh, first came up with this, this idea. Mm-hmm. And I kind of kind of helped your brainstorm. It, it feels very primal, very very me. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a couple question marks there. Yeah, for sure. Like, how long are you going to do it? But, I mean, this could be just, like, from me forward, you know? like I could the, just Yeah, that could just be your life. That's right. what I'm saying. But, like, all of these things, I could just be a traveler for life. I could... I that's think, yeah that's what i was saying is your plan is your plan seems very calculated and you know what you, you want and you know what you're going to do but there's also a lot of question marks there so i think the biggest issues i'm going to run into on the main plan you know the work here and then travel is just the everyday stressors that most americans face that like pull them back their their commitments to the company or you know just the, those kinds of um stressors i think would be the only things that because I'm not gonna lie, like I, I love nature more than more than most people, but I don't think anyone is exempt from the stresses that come with college. I mean, that stuff gets to you regardless. I I would agree, but I think you do a really good job of negating those and working around those than most people. So so let's talk about like places I could live then or places I could work. Because well assuming we'll we'll take away the travel, because I do want to see a lot of places. And that might result in me finding a place I like and then staying there. Part of traveling is that I get to learn a lot about other people and other places as I go. But let's just say for right out of college where I'm trying to work. One of my options was San Francisco. That's where you get the most money as a software engineer. And I've never been to California. It might be nice to live on the other coast. I'm normally from, I'm from Florida. But so San Francisco is an option. A lot of people in Seattle. But I've read that the one of the reasons they hire a lot of software engineers in Seattle is a big hub for computer science is because it rains so much and they want you to stay inside and code. And I think that's kind of scummy. I don't want to do it. I mean their <laughs> their motivation is whatever, you know, you can't really do anything about that. So I mean your whole thing would be making the best of that. And if you really wanted to live there and work there, that would mm-hmm. be your decision. Yeah. You know, you'd have to see it. And think like you have to weigh the pros and the cons. It's like anything. Yeah. So do you have any other good places? Like I can work in my hometown, St. Petersburg, Tampa area. It's still a well, great place. My whole thing is. So let me get like a let me get like an outline of this. You you're trying to, after college, you're trying to save up money for how many years? Three to five. Three to five, and then set on your journey and your travels. Mm-hmm. How much money do you think your journeys, your travels will cost? That's really tough to say. Exactly. It's really hard to say. So, but you want to, regardless, between those three to five years, you want to maximize your your amount of money, your correct? Income. Yeah. So, California. So, is, San Francisco. Is a lot of tax 
It's, then, it's hard to live there. Well, yeah, I know it's the places are pretty expensive too. Like live in a shack and then work as a. You <laughs> no, could, I don't yeah. want to do that though. To be honest, you, you want to live in a nice place, but you don't care about like super luxury. You just want a nice place for. Yourself. Yeah. Well, one of the things is when I'm working there, I want to have my life too. I want to be able to like play tennis. Okay. And I want to still play hockey, like in a doll league or something. That would kind of be my life. I'd wake up in the morning, go for a run or swim or go to the gym, then go to work, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I would look at... That's a tough question because there's so many options you have to look at. You have to look yeah. at how much each company is paying you, um, where it's located, because obviously that means a lot. You mm-hmm. know, Austin, Texas is a big one too. And Texas wouldn't be bad. I don't know how much you'd like that, but yeah. I wouldn't mind living in Texas. Um, and the, like, and if you even like the company to begin with, you know, like you might have four out of the five check marks, you know, for what you really care about. You mm-hmm. might just so like pay right. where you're living, but if you don't like the company or you just hate what you're doing at your job, yeah, like, exactly, that could just we want. Foil we're, it. we're looking for the good kind of company culture. That's why I'm working so hard right now is that I get that choice when yeah, I graduate for sure. So I can, uh, I don't even have to show up every day. That kind of job, you know. So very laid back. Yeah, laid back for sure. Laid back, but when you come into work, yeah, you no, want you want to work. I'm making a difference day. still. Yeah, I'm not like doing busy work all day. Yeah, or whatever. Okay. All right, I think I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, got got a lot to think about here, but I, we tried to break it down pretty well. Um, any any final points here? Any words of wisdom? Um, just always, you know, give it your best. Even if it's a even if it's a bad situation, even if none of this works out, you know. Yeah. You know, you can't just self destruct and sit there and say, "Woe is me." You know, you gotta get up, pull yourself together, and you know. <laughs> stop being fat. <laughs> yeah, stop being fat. Keep on working. <laughs> All right, that was good. For sure.